Currently with Porto Torres in Italy. Matt Scott, the one of a few professional wheelchair basketball teams on Sardinia. Sassari being their local rivals in the Italian league. Pog and switch. Cork Maz. In and out it goes, and eventually it drops for the Dutch. And few, you can hear the relief across the Dutch in the stadium. USA 25, the Netherlands 20. They had an 18 12 lead at the quarter. The US had shut them out until that point, and we're inside the last minute now of this first half. Up and away from Turek, nothing coming. Long pass to Cork Maz. He also plays his basketball in Germany. The BC Baskets Club in Hamburg. Ten points to the game so far, but it's been a bit of a rotten quarter, this one, for the Netherlands. Serio looks for the three. Will it go? No, it won't. Scott can't take it. Turek can. Getting into the last 30. Serio once more fades inside the three-point line. Thinks about the long two. Thinks again, takes it on and gets it. With it dropping around the rim a few times. Cork Maz. Look at the pressure from the Americans up the north. Plays for the only friends club in the Netherlands. Puts the. Oh, hook shot up, and it nearly went for the number eight, Opta North. And at the Hooter. Wow, what a quarter from the USA. Tails well and truly up. 15 2 they went in that quarter, and they lead 27 20 at half time in the men's quarter final in the wheelchair basketball. Well, let's have a look at some of the game statistics so far, and there they are. 27-20, 39% for the USA, 39% for the Netherlands. 11 defensive rebounds to 15, seven points from turnovers to two. And the Netherlands, just one basket in the whole quarter. The Americans at the moment are in the box seat for a semi-final spot in the men's wheelchair basketball here at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games.
this is the Rio Olympic Arena. It's the 2016 Paralympic Games here in Rio de Janeiro. It's the wheelchair basketball women's quarter final. Now, if you missed the first half, you missed an amazing half of wheelchair basketball. The Netherlands were 18 12 at the end of the first. They then went 15 2 in favour of the USA, which meant the turnaround at half time was a seven point difference. USA 27, Netherlands 20. So far, the USA 39% of their field goals have been successful. Equally, the Netherlands 39% as well. That's all to play for in the second half. The Netherlands looking for a place in the semi final, which would be a huge shock. They didn't qualify for Beijing, they didn't qualify for London. They won silver back in Sydney. 2000. And lost the bronze to Great Britain in 2004, and ever since then, the last 12 years, it's been worth forgetting for Dutch men's wheelchair basketball. And that's the state of play against the bronze medalists from London 2012, the USA. In 2000, when the Dutch won the silver. Americans were busy winning bronze against Great Britain. Paul Schultz, buzzer beater, in the most painful of fashion if you're British. He rolled over halfway, he put the shot up as the buzzer went, and the three pointer sunk. It sunk the Brits. It raised the Americans onto the podium. Got a long way to go yet to get a medal in the USA, but it's not an unlikely story. 27 USA. 20 the Netherlands, time for the second half. Fort Maz. Robin switch. Matt Scott grapples for the ball. The score remains seven points of difference. Here comes Steve Serio back into the action. No doubt will be the big influence on the Americans. Ten points so far, leading scorer for them. Grant gets in the way, as does the number 11, Bellas. That is Bellas four and a half point play. Seven points against the Spanish here, doing his defending duties as well. Joshua Turek shoot the extra efforts. As is professional basketball in Spain. Bill Bow. 29 20. Where did that Dutch lead go? That is. Cork Maz up in support. Look at how high the US defence is. Turek keeping Cork Maz at range. Jennifer and also Matt Scott working back in as De Jong kept him out. Grun turns, Grun sinks it. Well played. 29 22. Seven points now, the difference between these two. Matt Scott races forward once more. Cuts across the top, outside of the key. Turek, Serio. Names that surely deserve a medal this year, but names can mean nothing when you get to knock out stages of a Paralympic game. Trust me, stranger things have happened than the Americans going out here in the Paralympics. Pog and switch, it's nowhere near over yet. And at the moment, the US have the seven point lead. And if the Dutch continue to shoot like that, they're currently 10 from 23. They won't affect the Americans anyway. Scott. Up it goes, doesn't fall for Matt Scott that time. Court 
Mask and De Jong and Pogan switch on the switch. USA, USA is the call from the stands. Now, what's the call from the referee there? There'll be a reset shot clock and the Netherlands will have the ball. Steve Serio, the man the foul was called on. Agreement. Milan Dillman. Fort Maz battles his way through. Lovely pass came off in America. 29 22. 7 48 left in the third. America aiming for the semi finals just as they got to in London. Scott comes in and causes him problems. Cork Maz misses the buzzer. Of course, the great news for the top teams is the Canadians. Didn't even make the quarterfinals, the gold medalists from 2012. Whisper it quietly. There's half a chance. Australia might miss the boat into the semi finals as well if they can't make their way around Great Britain and potentially the tie of the quarterfinals. What a game that will be. Trek is continuing in substantial form for the USA here. Started his career in European wheelchair basketball in the professional game in Europe in 2005. 11 years on, he's still going. Cork Maz, nothing there. Lovely steal from the Dutch. But at the moment, nine points is the difference. The Jong and Pogan switch. Something needs to happen for this Dutch team soon. They lost to Spain in their last match, 48-66. A much better performance here this evening. A much more threatening performance here. And so this evening, it's mid-afternoon in Rio for these players. Scott, Serio, De Jong just almost knocking Scott on the nose and you see Serio turn to the referee and query it, 33-22, Cork Maz comes forward as the Mexican wave spins around the stadium, Hogan switches on the ground and I think in some pain Serio goes over to Check on the Dutch player. Opten Orth returns to the match. Nikulin also. Mendel Opten Orth, four points at 50% versus the Spanish. Leg amputee on both sides. Although I think the Americans would be glad to see him return. He hasn't had that much of an impact across the board really in any of the games that I've seen the Dutch play. And it's 3 minutes 23 so far, no points yielded for Opta North. Pog and switch. He can be a different kettle of fish when he gets going. Four points for the game. Cork Maz up and doesn't fall. And at the moment, the Americans can run right here if they really get going. Here goes Matt Scott. Control, precision, Serio. Spins out, well played, Steve Serio. Up and down for two. Nice shooting. 35-22 the score. Fog and switch. Oh, Trevon Jennifer just flipping out of his chair there. And the foul goes way off the USA, Jennifer. Second Paralympic bronze in London against Great Britain. Formerly a successful track athlete, track athlete and wrestler in high school. Go to the timeout. USA 35, Netherlands 22.
reckon, Jennifer. That's Scott telling Josh Turek how it is. Scott incredibly close to Mikey Pate. Played right the way through the junior US team with him. Powerhand gold medalist. The US want more than just a Powerhand gold medal here. They want a Paralympic medal. Meaning the power pan. And the games are taught. This is the one. The Americans came here to get their hands on. Jennifer. Up and down for two. Well played. Trevor on Jennifer. And the 23 wheelchair. Basketball gold medal back in 2009. Five minutes left in the third. Just over. And at the moment. The Americans have got one wheel in the semi-finals. Scott. And the squad of six athletes that picked up the bronze and played in the semi-finals in London. Turek, one of them. 39-22 now. Just Turek has had a superb game today. Hit 12 against the Germans, 15 against the Brazilians, and currently Turek, 12 hit, 45% of his field goals. Bogan switch, nothing there. Turek grabs the defensive rebound for seven for the match now. Serio, glass, drops, lovely play. The Americans are gonna be uncatchable here, you fear. 16 points personal for the game now. And it's 41-22. The assist coming from Turek. And Turek and Serio, along with the likes of Matt Scott, really causing some headaches for the Netherlands. Cork Mats working his hardest. And he goes to Pog and switch. Cork Mats 10 points personal for the game. Across comes Van der Kuhlen. Back to his captain. But Turek will easily pick up the ball. Although the whistle then goes. And something's been spotted by the referee. That might be what it is. Trevon Jennifer. Smiling as he has to make his way off quarters. One of his wheels is. And the tyres has gone. Just quickly. Takes the clip out the wheel. Quick release. And then. Can't get it back in. And ask Steve Serio for some help as he needs one of his. Wheel clips. Jennifer, we wait for him to return. Played overseas from 2013 to 15 for Le Canet in France, which is a club that some of the Algerians played for as well. In comes Jake Williams, two and a half point player as Trevon Jennifer is off. Requenting himself with the right number of wheels. Right. Williams is an able deputy, but Trevor and Jennifer. Scott up and down, it drops, and look at that now. Where have the USA gone? 43-22, Matt Scott in fine, fine form. Cork Maz. It was just a minor blip for the Americans, just a small early headache. 18-12 down after the first, they bounce back 15-2, 16-2. And the Dutch have forgotten where the basket is currently. It shows the relative inexperience of this Dutch team. I've said it time and again in this competition. They are an improving, developing side. Lovely shooting once more from Turek to make the two. They're a developing side, but it's not yet the time of the Netherlands. They've not looked quite the finished article throughout this competition. They only finished fourth in the pool, which was an achievement in itself. But coming up against this American team who they ran close to the Continental Clash in 2016 in Leicester, the United Kingdom. Two-point margin. Not the same here today. Matt Scott. A sly look on his face. The Dutch will inbound. Bob and switch. Bellas. Oh, 
Anton de Roy. His wife will be in semi final action for the Dutch women. Karina de Roy wears best number 14. The Dutch women will face Germany in the semi finals. Played in the 2012 semi finals, the Dutch female side ended up winning the bronze in London as Germany went on for gold. Those two have a huge rivalry. Churek off the glass. In fact, it's Jake Williams with the two. Another University of Wisconsin Whitewater member. Van der Kuhlen. Pollen switch back to Van der Kuhlen when the basket was wide open and Van der Kuhlen sort of turns to him as if to say, why? Give me the ball back, but he takes the points anyway. And the number two assist from Pogan Switch, the two from Van der Kuhlen, his first of the game. 47 24, 20 points to four in the quarter for the USA. Serio says, I'll have another two. 22 4. This is the biggest points margin for the USA in this match so far in a quarter. Van der Kuhlen too casual. And away comes Williams. 16. Williams was hit by a car whilst riding his bike. Now 25 years of age and helping the USA and Matt Scott book their place in a semi-final. There's no way back surely in the last quarter and a tiny bit for the Netherlands. They've only scored six points in pretty much two quarters of basketball. It's been a nightmare performance for them in the mid part of this game. Churik will inbound. As the Americans look to close out the quarter. This game still with a 10 minute period to be played after this one, but the Americans have shut the Dutch out here. Churik has been instrumental. 14 points for the game, six from 13 in just over 10 minutes for him. Ian Lynch, a name we've barely mentioned, the one-pointer, played in all five games for one and a half, 1.6 points per game average. Hog and switch, bounce pass around Matt Scott, who raises his hands as if to innocence on that one but the referees disagree Pogan switch Bellas Bellas over to van der Kuhlen van der Kuhlen up doesn't go this time Matt Scott catches and away come the Americans Pogan switch with the foul Misses his fifth free throw. Three from five, successful. 5.6 seconds left in the third, and the Americans are very, very comfortable hit in this matchup. Now it comes. Bellas gets the defensive rebound. Poggin switch looks for the hook shot. Will it go? No, it won't. And we close out the quarter with the score. USA 51. The Netherlands 24, I can't see any way back for the Dutch hit. They've scored six points in two quarters of basketball, it's painful reading. USA were six points down after the first quarter. They now lead 51-24 with one to go. And there are the statistics. So far, 50% plays 31 of field goals, 56% five from nine against 100% for two from two from the free throw line for the Netherlands. Defensive rebounds, 19 apiece.
It's all smiles for the USA. It wasn't that way at the end of the first quarter, though. And they look like they're going to book a semi-final spot. An achievement which their women have already done. The USA women's team will play the Great Britain women. History made by Great Britain. They've never made the final four in a major competition ever. They have now. And they'll play the United States women. We're back for the fourth quarter. USA 51, Netherlands 24. Jared Arambula joins the game. Here he is. Jennifer into gouge. The Americans starting to run their bench. They know they've picked this game off. Gouge, though, of course, started the game, as did Brian Bell, who returns. Bell, 11.8 points personal average for the tournament. 53-24. Six for the run for this second half. Where did the Netherlands go? 18 points they scored in the first quarter. Only on 24 now. Gouge with another fantastic shot. 55, 24. Hog and switch. Born in Germany, now playing for the Netherlands. Cuts around the outside, up and down. Oh, that's better. But too little, too late, Robin Pog and switch. Three point player. Plays for Mope in France. And the whistle goes in the plate. 55-26. Bellas looks on, almost horrified. Dolphins player from Germany, Trier Dolphins. In comes the number 10. That's Paul Tos, 30-year-old. And Brian Bell. He plays for Grantier Cantu in Italy. club that Jordi Ruiz, the Spanish player, picked up a couple of Italian national championships with. Toast, fog and switch. Up and out it comes and belt can come away just over eight minutes now for the Americans to hold on here 57 26 Aaron Bula, oh big foul there called offensive well Aaron Bula losing control of his chair I'm going uh, right call as well Chose came across look <laughs> at the response from the number 10 the four and a half point player the 30 year old Cork Mads Pog and switch. Cork Maz once more. Just almost throwing the ball away under pressure. Eventually finds a way around Jake Williams. But it's stolen by the Americans. Aaron Bula to Williams. Williams, oh, he's trying to put Trevor and Jennifer in. And Frank de Jong. And sportsman like Fount. Jennifer will go to the line for two. The US will get the ball back with 7.38 left in the game. 57-26 the score now. The Netherlands will not make it back from here. They've only scored eight points across nearly two and a half quarters of wheelchair basketball. This is unprecedented at any level of the game. Jennifer makes them pay with the second. Turns away almost in frustration. 58-26 the score. Aaron Bula comes across to inbound the ball. 
plays in Italy for Cavese. 26 years of age, Jake Aaron Brula. Here's Pog and Switch. Cork Mads tipped out of his chair by Jake Williams. Defensive foul called. Cork Mads frustrated. Booze ringing out. Not great to hear. And he's tried hard today. As Cork Mads, what a first half. He had 10 points personal so far in this one. Four times. The Americans get the game back underway. Ambula to gouge. And got Williams to gouge. Here he is once more. Ambula's in the key. If it goes, it will be American. Ball. Ball to Gaunt. And from Elkmark. His debut in the European Championships of 2009 in Adana in Turkey. Up and down it goes for Aaron Buda. Casual. Seven point average for the tournament and now 61 26 the score. Aaron Buda made the three pointer. Fog and switch. Cork Maz trying to support. Back it comes to Cork Maz. Over De Jong and out of play it will go. Toast tries to get there to keep it alive, but can't do so. 35 points the difference now. The three attempt not there that time. For Jack Williams and, and his efforts to keep the ball alive throws himself to the court. Never fear anyone watching this sport for the first time. Although it's relatively unusual to see a player do that to himself as Matt Scott backs away. It's not deliberately to allow Williams to crash to the court, it's actually to stop him in injuring himself on the front of Scott's wheelchair. Okay, and some fairly nasty injuries in the game. Goes the shot from Cork Maz, good for three. That more than doubles the Dutch score for the quarter. It beats the score for the second quarter, and it's three quarters of the score from the third. That tells you how bad the last two and a half quarters have been for this Dutch men's team. 61 29, they'd scored 18 after the first. Gouge up it goes, away it comes, and up then Orth, who's been fairly average sadly today. Only 20 years of age, though, up the north. So a long time to prove himself yet, just 2.4 points for the tournament. Up the north, Cork Maz. Spins around Jennifer. Now comes Jennifer once more. Corkmaz, brilliant stuff to find Pog and Switch. Pog and Switch's pass inside is cut off by Brian Bell. And that aim of the top five for the Netherlands. Well, the risk is going to become far greater because they're going to have to play off for just the spot they were aiming for. If they lose any games in the playoffs. They lose out on the aim of Robin Pog and Switch. In comes Steve Serio once more. Serio has been instrumental today. The co-captain of Mikey Pay, 18 points of the game, pages two. But he played well in the start of the game. Van der Kuhlen misses everything. Serio can come away. Serio. 
Puts to the pass, up and down it goes, but it will not count. Nate Hines, he appeared in four of the five games so far. And the number 15 looks for the basket. It was unavailable to him. Stand six foot three, went out of his wheelchair. It's up a second Paralympic bronze medal at London. The USA saw off the host Great Britain. Hines tries to get him once more. Can't do so on this occasion. Hawk Maz will come away with the ball for the Dutch. 61-29. Where did the game go for the Dutch? It was, it was there for the taking in the first 18-12. And then the Americans just up the intensity and the Dutch could not live with them in the slightest. Korkmaz sinks another two and it takes it to seven for the fourth quarter and this is looking better from the Dutch. 10-7 in the fourth is at least respectable. 15-2, 24-4 is not for the second and third quarters and the Dutch will know this. The Dutch women have a semi-final to come against Germany. The Dutch men will be going out at the quarter-final stage. Heinz goes to ground, penalised for the offensive foul. Stafford Korkmaz, 15.6 from 12, one from two from his three-pointers. No free throws at all, no attempts. Here is Korkmaz. Van der Kuhlen, Hogan switch up, down it comes, Hines. Gets fortunate as Optin North just drops the ball into Hines. And Steve Serio can waste some time for the Americans. And it's all about closing this one out and being clinical for the USA now. Over to Hines it goes. Off the glass for two. It counts as well. And the Americans are even further ahead. 32 points now. Well, you can pretty safely say that the Americans are going to take up yet another semi-final spot here in the Paralympic Games of 2016. He finished fourth in 2008. Finished third in 2012, third in 2000. And another. Semi-final spot coming their way. Bronze 96 also in Atlanta when Australia beat Great Britain for the goal. Fine, fine form of semi-final berths for this US men's team. Just the blip in Athens since 1996. Serio. Pay back to Serio. Drops it in for Hines. Can't make the basket. And the Coulomb falls out as he's throwing the ball away, but the foul on the plate. And hit hard on the ground. 2.40 left in the game. 32 points the difference. Mike Inzeri pleased with how his team turned this around. And pleased with the fact that they will be sitting ready for whoever they face. Turkey or Brazil. The hosts or the bronze medalists. They finished one place below the USA in the World Championships in South Korea two years ago. Australia beat the USA there, 63-57. But I have to say, I feel the Australians look a little bit weaker hit. No Justin Eveson anymore for Australia. They'll claim that's no big deal. Take a player of his sta status and standing out of any team in the world. And it will weaken you. And the likes of the USA will know that. And they'll know. Going into a semi-final. Turkey or Brazil and then a potential final with... Whoever remains from Spain, Australia or Great Britain. The USA have every chance of a gold. Cork Maz. Out it comes. 63-33. 
history of American wheelchair basketball is one painted bronze more times than not. Hogan switch. Qualifying tournament, the Americans out qualified anyone in the Parapan games by 36 points per game average, 62 39 against the Americans, sorry, the Canadians in the final there. Steve Serro, 18 points for the game, 30 points the difference still here. Gouch will go to the line. Eight-year-old and it falls for him. 64-35. Anton Deroy making no mistake when his chance came. He's had limited opportunity. The one-pointer from Kulenborg. Spinal cord injury from a motorbike accident. A long time ago now. But the Americans, everything the Dutch throw at them, they throw it back. Mikey Pay. And it's now 66-35, and Pay has four for the game. Court Maz throwing everything he can at the USA. Defensive foul against Serio, who nods at Matt Wells, the referee. In quiet appreciation of the referee's standing. Two personal fouls. The staff of Court Maz affords himself a smile. And Serio knew exactly what he did wrong there. As did Cork Matt. 106 left. This one is done and dusted. The USA are going to yet another semi final. It drops for Cork Maz on that occasion. The clock stops 66 37, the score. It's 68-37 into the last 45. It's time for the Americans to go to their fifth of the last six Paralympic semi-finals. The only one they failed to make was 2004. Since Atlanta, their home games. They've taken four of five bronze medals in that time. They go for more in Rio de Janeiro. Playing in a time when Canada and Australia have been the dominant forces. They've had to share the bronze on a number of occasions. In fact, the bronze medal matches, I should say, with Great Britain. Those two. So often the bridesmaids, rarely the brides. And this time, the USA make another semi-final and you have to install them as favourites going in to whoever they play and whatever's to come. The Dutch started brilliantly. They went 18-12 in the first, but at the end of this quarter-final, there was only one team going forward after the first quarter, and that was the United States of America, and they've won it in convincing fashion. USA 70, Netherlands 37. 